Hi, I'm Pete from Crafty Caravanners. Kaz sends her regards. She's getting much better after the operations that she's had and she soon will be back in front of the camera, but she sends everybody a thanks for all the lovely comments and support she's received. It's very, very much appreciated. Today, I'm going to talk about a common ailment of YouTubers, getting gas. That's gear acquisition syndrome. And what we've done, um, we've gone and purchased a couple of things to make our life a little bit more pleasurable when we're going out and recording things. We're hoping that the quality of our recorded video will be a little bit better as well. We know that from looking at our stats that many of you watch our videos on television. I'm going to guess that many of these televisions are 4K and above. So we intend to step up our game when it comes to resolution. We're also going to look at things like frame rate. We've gone ahead and bought a couple of things. I'm using a Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone for the audio on this video. Here I've got a box with a GoPro 10 camera and some accessories in it. I'll do the unboxing together with you. We've also made a small addition in the car. I'll take you out to the car once I finish recording this video. I'll do a comparison between the Canon EOS 80D that I'm filming this one on, the GoPro Hero 5, which, um, which is getting quite old now, and the new GoPro Hero 10. This section of the video, I'm sitting in front of the Canon EOS 80D. This is the camera we've been using for doing these shots where we sit on the couch in the caravan. It's a bit of a weighty beast to go and walk around vlogging, and perhaps the um, stabilization is not so good. It does induce a little bit of seasickness. It feels like we've been creating videos from horseback with some of the shake, rattle and roll that we've been getting using the ATD. Oh, that's a bit of a coincidence. There goes a horse. Bob Earnshaw made a video on a GoPro Hero 10, and one of the standout features to us was the level of stabilization that is achieved using the new camera. I'm going to give that a little play today. I'm now going to change cameras to the Hero 5 and we'll see what the difference is between the Hero 5 and the ATD. Here I am on the GoPro Hero 5. The ATD has only HD resolution. The Hero 5 can go all the way up to 4K, but if you want a linear field of view like I have at the moment, you have to go down to 2.7K. What I'll do is I'll put a screen capture of the settings I'm using for the GoPro on screen round about here somewhere and you can have a look for yourselves. Even with the linear field of view that is set on the GoPro 5 and having the camera about a meter closer to my face than the 80D was, you see that the field of view is quite wide. That's a little bit disappointing. You know, sometimes it's nice to have those um, tight in shots. We'll now get to see what I ordered and we'll go ahead and unbox the Hero 10. Ooh, here's the box. Exciting times, let's see what's inside. And the first thing we've got is the Hero 10 itself. I've just realized this is going to be a job that needs three hands. So bear with me one second. Just try and work out how to open this thing. There we go. Pull back the cardboard. And here's the GoPro in a nice little carry case. Inside the kit, what have we got? Well, magnetic clip, a pair of standard batteries, the GoPro itself. It looks much bigger than the Hero 5. The obligatory bracketry. What is that? A little um, shorty selfie stick. That looks quite well built as well. Some instructions, but who reads instructions? We're just going to get going and, and use this thing. I've also got the media mod, um, designed for the 9, compatible with the 10. Oh, certainly sealed up very well, isn't it? Oh well, I'm just gonna have to rip it. There we go, one media mod. Couple of reasons why I wanted this. Right, here are the little doors. You've got your, at the top, what looks like a little standard USB mini connector, or that might be an HDMI out. We've got a USB-C. Most importantly, is a mic jack for an external microphone. The GoPro 5 
has a different kind of um, adapter for this. We've got one of those. I'm recording on it at the moment. I'll show you a picture of that right about now. And the other main reason that I wanted this case is you've got two cold shoes. And now these, these are metal, which is a bonus instead of the usual plastic. So they're going to be hard wearing. Uh, it's also got a front facing, rear facing mic with a little sponge uh, doohickey what's it that you pop on top and it will reduce the wind noise um, something like up to 20 kilometers an hour which is not a great deal especially living where we do on the Somerset levels when it gets more than that on a calm day the road wireless go for the dead cat or would you say something that size is a dead mouse I'll go with dead mouse what else was in the box dual battery charger plus battery. Well, I think that's going to be pretty obvious what it is, but I will open it up and show you on camera. There we have it. It's somewhat smaller than I imagined it would be. There is a charging cable, USB type A and type C. Great. So the, the actual charger is the C end and you just pop that into a USB A outlet to charge something labeled as an Endura battery. We've seen a review of the Hero 10 that says that the battery life is quite low. Now we have the technology to carry a 20,000 milliamp battery around with you in our pockets and have a long charging lead running down your sleeve and plugged into the camera. So you've basically got unlimited lifespan. Uh, but it would be nice to have just a little bit of battery life and to make the whole thing a little bit more portable. Here's a standard battery. Let's get rid of that plastic. Pop them next to each other and it would appear that physically these things are the same size. I'm guessing that the rechargeable material inside is wrapped tighter in the Endura battery than it is in the standard. You have to squeeze those milliamps in somehow, don't you? Last but not least, 64 gig memory card. You can never have too many of these. What I'm going to do now is assemble the camera. There it is. Let's get it out of its well, I was going to say this piece at least looks like a little bit of environmentally friendly paper. Yep, there it is. Nice. And having the integrated little mounting bracket is quite nice rip off these things, get it over with. No point being precious about it. You know, he's got to do a job. All right. So I've still not read the manual. There we go. Battery door with USB. Yep, that comes off just the same as the five. In fact, um, a little easier, which is nice. You want to go ahead and put the standard blue battery in. Yeah, before putting the battery in, it makes sense to get the SD card in. Skeletal, I think I prefer Skeletal. So we're going to stab it open. There we go. Oops, that was almost nasty off camera. Be careful when using knives. Oh, um, there was a little piece of paper on the back and all you had to do was peel it off. If you're very careful you can, you can give it a bit of a wiggle around you can feel which way feels right yeah that way feels right pop a battery in and as we are going to use it in the media mod let's get that going as well straight away there it goes all right little usb-c thing at the bottom is going to align with the one at the base of the battery Slide the camera into the case and lock it up. Great, fantastic. I need to get this on top of a tripod. So what I'm going to have to do is take this little Ulanzi mag mount thing off of the old Ulanzi cage over here. There's a little indent over here where the thumb screw is supposed to go. Yeah, it looks like that's going, to, that's going to be just fine for today. 
So it's going to go in that way with a silver end away. And in it goes. You could say it was designed for it. Here's the tripod mounting plate. Tighten this thing up finger tight. And pop it on top of the tripod. I'll use the quick app on my phone to connect up the GoPro Hero 10 so I can control it, um, get all the settings done, everything like that through the phone. It's a lot easier than playing around with a little touch panel on the back of a smaller screen. There's the back end of the phone, which is no use to anybody. So what I'll do is I'll superimpose what I'm seeing on the phone screen over there. Continue. So it wants me to do that. Leave your camera on and follow the in-app instructions. Continue. We found your GoPro Hero 10. OK, that's fantastic. Pair camera. And it's sending out a Bluetooth request. I can see myself in the little screen on the front. That's really, really a nice thing to have. Change camera name. I'm going to leave it at Hero 10 Black. Save new name. Oh, he wants to do a camera update. So what I'm going to do, I will do that. Um, I, I'm a firm believer in doing updates because they are designed to protect you and to give you some enhanced functionality, um, often introducing a raft of bug fixes, very occasionally introducing new bugs as well. But it's generally a good thing to get the updates done. So for now, I'm just going to skip and it says, let's go. Ah, this is something worthwhile talking about. GoPro subscriptions. Now, I decided to add the yearly subscription to the shopping basket when I was shopping for this Hero 10, which costs around £50. But that gives you a whole bunch of discounts. Um, you know, it's close to £200 off the cost of the camera. All the accessories came at reduced prices, so it's well worth the investment, even if you're only going to keep the camera for a year to take out a year's subscription. It's already paid for itself. Turn on preview to frame your shot and see what GoPro sees. I'm guessing the quick app is disconnected from the Hero 5. It's now connecting to the 10. You can see what I can see on the screen. Let me just get myself in shot over there. I think that's on one of the wider settings. Yes, standard 4K 30 wide. So. I guess the spanner is the settings. Yes, there we are. Right, there we are. We're on the Hero 10. I've got the mic connected. I've got the screen resolution settings set the way I wanted them to be. I hope this is a nice, clear picture. Let us know in the comments. While I'm here in the caravan, the camera is charging. I'll hint at a video that we are going to be doing in the near future. When I give away clues, I like them to be cryptic. Yep, we got ourselves one of these as well. Weather for you. We'll have reaction after five to the resignation of Cressida Dick from the Metropolitan Police. That's the Sony car radio that replaces the existing unit. I'll put a picture of what we used to have up over here. I think it's a little video. I did, I, I did take it some time ago. <clears throat> but the real party trick of this one is that um, you plug one of these into it and it becomes a CarPlay device. Um, we've got Apple iPhones. Of course, if you've got an Android, it will become a, I think it's an Android Auto. Right, but we've got iPhones. It works in uh, CarPlay mode, which is fantastic. It's a lovely big screen for doing navigation, uh, listening to the radio, listening to music. Um, it even reads text messages to you. Last but not least, we got ourselves one of those. It's a dash cam. So instead of trying to you know, stick your GoPro to the window and hope for the best and hope, hope you don't forget it, that thing is permanently there. It's hardwired in. So it takes footage going forwards. It also takes footage backwards. So you can see us in the cab as we're driving. Yeah, I need to get some footage of that. I will do one of these days or it will appear in a upcoming video. Uh, we so far are very impressed with the quality of that little unit. It was an Amazon return. Somebody had had the product for five minutes, returned it, and I got it at a real good price. Well, it was under the Christmas tree and it said it came to both of us from the dogs. It was pretty good of them, wasn't it? I'm gonna finish up the video now. I'm using the GoPro Hero 10 at the moment. 
and I'm holding it out in front of me. This thing is not on a tripod, so I'm hoping that as I wiggle the thing around a bit, the image stabilization with horizon leveling thing should work very well. And if that didn't work, I'll just film that again, holding it as steady as possible. From the both of us, thank you very much for sticking with us while we've been through some difficult times. We're hoping to get out and about this year. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, Kaz is making leaps and bounds and she's recovering quickly. Uh, so you'll see another video or two from her shortly. We've got some big plans for later on in the year and we've got some medium sized plans coming up earlier on in the year. So carry on watching, subscribe if you haven't already, leave us a thumbs up, we always appreciate that. We'd love to hear from you in the comments and bye for now. Bye.